people and their opinions of you do not fucking matter because you can't cash their shit at the bank. Why does it hurt you that bad to not know my business? I said, plant it in your brain, create a plan, and get it done. It don't matter how long it take you to get done, okay? It is no competition, okay? As long as you get it done for you, that's all that matter. I'm not sure I want to do this video because I don't want to let people into my life. Can I just catch you having fun? No. <laughs> So today is April 26, 2021. It's currently 4.33 p.m. and I'm at the park. And I got me some ice cream because I don't know where I just started randomly craving ice cream and it's not that good. And it's not giving what it was supposed to be. But so I just been feeling really conflicted today, but I knew I wanted to film a video because I keep putting on filming a video. And so this is just me turning on the camera and me just talking. I'm not sure I want to do this video because I don't want to let people into my life. It's just like so, uh. It's like once you let people into your life to a certain extent, they never get out of it. And I don't like people in my business, okay? I want to think about me, I'm one private ass bitch. And there's nothing wrong with being private. Like people my whole life have tried to talk down on me for being so isolated they call me secretive even though it's not called being secretive it's called my business is my business but i've been talked down on so bad because like i'm just a private ass bitch and it's like why does it hurt you that bad to not know my business like why 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 does it hurt you that bad to not know my business like i understand if you like a little curious a little curious george ass bitch but you should not be pressed you should not call yourself checking me fussing me out anything because i don't want people to know that i got a job offer because i don't want people to know that i'm potentially going to get this item like i'm the type of person if i got a job or an interview I manifested to myself like yeah I got this job like even before I knew what manifesting was of course I'm thinking like I, I hope I get this job and stuff like that but I'm not finna tell the whole world like oh I got a job interview tomorrow or like guys I'm gonna wait to my job interview like no I don't want people to know I got a job I don't even want to put me and a job out into the universe for others to see or hear about until I'm, I'm literally clocking into work that day and the job is literally mine like i've always been that type of person you're not gonna know what i what i'm gonna do when i'm planning you're not gonna know what i plan on doing until it's literally done okay it's signed still delivered that's when you'll know and even then you may not even know you'll find out three four five six seven eight months later like it's none of your fucking business okay and I've had family members talk down on me so bad because I'm like, that isn't your business for you to tell. And there's nothing wrong with me saying that to you because my business is my business. If I don't want it flaunted to the world, I can say that. But other than that, let's talk about life, okay? My lease ends in two months. Last year, everything happened so sudden last year. Like, yeah, like I, like, of course, like, in the moment it became planned as it went but overall everything happened so sudden like so i wasn't really in the mode to film and when i was able to capture it felt like it was just thrown together or something and it was also like a hint of nervousness and anxiety so like i didn't really get to document my first move the way i would have wanted to but it's all it, it's it's my fault because i could have picked up the camera but i wasn't really in my mode too much last year of content 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 like as of this year when i decided to take take my goals serious sir if that's the word more seriously that's when majority of what i think about is involving content and my future and everything involving that I, if that's what i decide to do i will try pinky pinky pro, pinky promise try to do it right this time around y'all Lately, I feel like I've just been in a creative bind as well as me battling like my other 
let me not say battling like i would say that but i also don't want you all to think the worst because it's not especially since i take myself out of every situation i'm in lately i was in i've been in such a funk i can see within myself that i've improved so much as a person physically mentally emotionally financially like i I'm, I, I don't think i've always thought long term but literally now like my mind frame is just so like it's such a tunnel vision and like i literally my whole life i've always been different i've always been unique i've always been a creative i've always been artistic and with that i still left things like bottled up inside and now i'm at the day and age where i don't want to bottle stuff up anymore like if you hurt my feelings i'm gonna tell you that you hurt my feelings um if i have an idea on something i'm gonna act on it okay i may not act on it full force but i'm gonna put a plan to action i'm gonna do the research for it. even if like I maybe it's a capricorn thing <laughs> but i have a new idea every day and it becomes overwhelming because it's like what do i act on and what don't i act on or it's like what do i act on first which one will take me farther and then i go on to the other ones i don't think i'm a perfectionist because i i've always understood that there is no such thing as perfect very seldom will things be perfect and i've never been that type of person to just throw a hissy fit or stuff like that so i understand that nothing will be perfect everything in life is a process i get that with everything that comes to my mind creatively like you're not gonna always know what road to take you just whatever one you take if it work it work if it don't you try the other one or just in general like you just keep going okay you never know if you're gonna if you're gonna make it or fail until you take that route that that's how i felt this whole year like i've just been in a creative rut a creative funk everything i think about is content 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 my future my incomes being successful it's like i'm 21 years old and like everybody's telling me they're so proud of me for the some of the things i did and it's like i don't feel like i deserve not not that i deserve or don't deserve but it's like i know that i could be doing so much more so it's like i accept their congratulations but it's like i could be so so much further right now i've spent every day thinking what do you want to do where do you see yourself five years from now who do you want to be around in general career wise that's what i'm thinking about I'm, I'm just like who do you want to be five years from now and it's like i answer myself and it's just like my main thing is successful i want to be able to take care of me and my immediate family like i'm the biggest overthinker i'm also a procrastinator but i'm the biggest overthinker and i will literally sit and think myself crazy think myself into a sadness a funk a, a depression anxiety like i have the worst anxiety when it comes to new things it's something that i'm working on like i understand that every that, that i can't control every aspect of everything and that also goes back to me knowing that not everything is perfect so if it's something that's outside of my control i've always understood that but my overthinking just goes into the how like what way am i gonna make this happen that's where my overthinking comes in at my overthinking goes in at which route should i take and i will literally drive myself crazy and it's like i live alone in an apartment and i'm the only one there i'm the only one i'm talking to and no i'm not saying talking to myself we have our thoughts and so i literally will sit around in my thoughts all day and it's like it's kind of unhealthy to a certain extent and so as far as today like i woke up this morning um flo said you know flo auntie flo the old period tracker she said that my period's coming this week sorry boys if you're watching this sorry for the tmi but y'all know what that is we grown here let me move because the light shifted and i need some light you know i'm just gonna go ahead and go back home y'all well not home because i'm not home but to my grandmother's house 
And so I'm gonna finish this out riding and hopefully I'm done talking by the time we get home. And yes, light, but let me watch the road, y'all. So I'm sorry. Wow, get over. Basically, I woke up this morning. Like I always put off what when I'm gonna film. Like I literally have set days for me to film and very seldom when I will I actually film. Like I plan to. So um, it's all a matter of whenever I do my makeup, I know I want to film that day. And sometimes it takes a lot for me to want to get in the mood to do my makeup, but I do it. And I'll come on camera with no makeup. It's no problem. It's just when I do setting, certain set videos and stuff, I like to look all the way up to par. And I mean, I'm all the way up to par without it too. Don't get it confused. Okay, I'm a bad bitch. But I'm just saying, I can look the way I want to look on camera sometimes if I want to. And it ain't got nothing to do with anybody else. So I don't need anybody trying to check me on that. But let me get back to the story. So I decided I was going to do my makeup today. Beat my face. I already had my shower. And that was that. I was supposed to film. By the time I got finished beating my face, like I felt like a bad bitch. Like I looked like a bad bitch. I know I was a bad bitch. Uh, let me start referring to myself as that but i know i looked good but it was like what was internal i just felt so empty like i felt unmotivated i felt i just felt like i didn't want to do anything like i had low energy like filming a video was the furthest thing from my mind at that moment and i i didn't want to put myself in that little rut and stuff i didn't want to allow myself to be like that because it's like okay girl you just beat your face at this point like you done beat your face another day and didn't even film like girl film so i ate something i drank some water i sat down i think a part of it like was also i maybe a little i maybe was a little dehydrated and hot because my grandma sometimes keep her house hot and i can't take it if you know me you know i don't like being hot it makes me very irritable and angry very angry okay you know how people be hangry i don't get angry whenever i'm hungry but i'll get angry if i'm high okay i hate to sweat i hate all of that so so i basically was just feeling like i had like i had low energy like i just could i didn't want to film the video i couldn't film the video i tried to get myself out of that wasn't hungry but i managed to eat a whole big ass plate of food because grandma cooked yesterday so i had leftovers and i felt a little bit better after that and then i ended up riding with my grandmother to take my sister home and I'm like, okay, I have to film. I have to film. So when we got back, I got in the car. And I was like, okay, you're going to film. But now it's like, okay, what do I feel like filming right now? Because my energy, it still feels, I'm, I'm motivated at this point. Like, I'm going to film a video. But it's like, my energy is still kind of low. So what video do I film right now that will match that? Because it's like, there's some that you just, you have to be like, up here for and there's just some it's like it doesn't call for all of that and it's not like i'm putting on this fake facade it's just a matter of i'm not gonna get up here and tell y'all a juicy story time and like i'm just not feeling that right now like what can i film so as leah dropped her video about how she moved back home and i just watched hers and i drove to the store to get me some ice cream and i felt every word she said because that's how i felt you can basically say I've been in my apartment for a year, two months, maybe a year, but I'm just gonna say it. I've been in my apartment for a year and that's how I felt too, because I stayed practically two hours away from my family as well. And it got to me a couple times because she, she made a very good point as independent as she is and how isolated she is. And like, she loves to be by herself. Like it was still too much being three hours away from her family. And I felt like that, since i moved in and it's like yeah i got money not i got money but yeah i'm making money but like i was in no way the position to be able to break my lease like how she was able to especially as quick as she did it took me a while for me to realize to think to myself is this something i really want to do like i didn't feel it, it didn't really start getting to me too bad until like january and i literally went to my leasing office and I talked to them and I asked them I was like uh, hypothetically if I broke my lease what would be the process and they told me and I've just managed to thug it out the rest of these months and I have two more left because very much I would have went ahead and did it if I 
felt like it was necessary, like wholeheartedly, but I knew that I had more stuff I needed. I just knew that that couldn't be a priority for me at the moment, but it was like she was speaking for me because I literally went through the same thing as far as that. And I just understand, like, I'm very, I'm independent. I isolate myself. Like, people talk so much shit about me. My family, probably old friends, whoever, because I don't like to go nowhere. I like to stay in the house. I don't like to do, I don't want to do the stuff that the typical teenager or 20 21 year old because i'm not living my life the way they live their life so according to them i'm not living my life in general even like as independent and isolated as i am as i like being by myself it still became much at some points being damn near two hours away because it's like i don't want to drive two hours every time i want to see y'all i was like let me just watch her video to kind of calm down my brain before i overthink myself trying to think of what content i'm going to create i'm watching my dog y'all i'm home at my grandma's house but that's home okay i got three homes my mama house my grandma house and my house okay period <laughs> my name only on one of those leases but i don't give no fucks okay they, they my house all three of them okay so i watched her video while i went to get my ice cream and i was like okay let's just do this to take your mind off of what you should do and after that i was like turn the camera on and just let it flow so this is what y'all got. So I've been in this rut for four full months and I'm getting out of it, okay? I'm getting out of it. Even with me being in that rut, I was still getting certain things done, but it wasn't all the way to my full potential that I know I could have reached. So I know that I could have got things done times 10. Like I set certain goals for myself and I'm gonna achieve them, okay? What didn't happen yet don't matter. It's gonna happen and that's on period. What I wanna say is we all, Honestly, I feel like the rut I was in comes from me being 21, okay? And it's like, what do I want to do with my life? And it's like, you hear certain people talk about this and like you understand, I guess. But whenever it becomes you, you understand times 10 even more. Honestly, it's just something you're going to have to think about at one point. Just don't put it off. If you're young and you're watching this, start early, okay? I'm not saying grow up fast or anything like that but when life hits you life hits you and so if you got the chance to like be able to maximize certain things that will help you in the long run of life or prepare you for your adulthood and your future have at it so if you want to be a youtuber start your youtube channel if you want to be a model start taking pictures if you want to meet beyonce buy a concert ticket it, it that's just all it is to it whatever you want to do start in life that you know you want to do and even if it's 15 years from now even if you're 15 years old and you know you want to do this when you're 25 start putting certain things in action for it because you don't want certain things to just pass you by or you don't want to be the person who constantly puts stuff off i felt like nah it's not that important or nah i don't need to prepare for this and then you let all this time pass by and your goals is just like at a standstill so and I, that's not how i feel at all i'm just saying if you're watching this and you feel like stuck the way i do stick to what it is you want to do okay don't give up i never felt like i wanted to give up anything well actually you two had me fucked up like two months ago a month and a half ago and that's why i took the high hi hiatus hiatus whatever it is like i did but that's another story for a different day i'm not gonna tell i don't I just don't feel like talking about it just in general like like i've never been a person to if it's something i know i want to do 100 i've never been a person to give up and so i'm not saying this as in i was gonna give up on something and i didn't and now i'm telling you not to i'm just telling you in general if it's something you want to do stick your guns to it or whatever they say stick to your guns I said plant it in your brain, create a plan, and get it done. It don't matter how long it takes you to get done, okay? It is no competition, okay? As long as you get it done for you, that's all that matters. Basically, I was feeling stuck. I'm starting to get out of it, if not already out of it. And this video is for people who was feeling the same way I was feeling or who can relate to just anything in general that I said in this video because I know I touched on so much stuff. It's okay to not have stuff together all the time. 
And it's okay to be an overthinker as well, but know when and when not to give your brain a rest. Because if you don't, you will be on overdrive all the time and that's not okay because when you crash you will crash things happen life happens okay this is the world we live in and not everything is perfect okay and it's okay to not everything is perfect but as long as you know that something is what you want wholeheartedly you stick to that and you get it done regardless okay life is gonna always throw you whirlwinds and that's all that really matters and live your life for you i know i told y'all this in my how to boss up for 2020 one video um if that's exactly how i titled it it don't matter i remember i'll put it in the card at the top but i told y'all don't give a fuck about what nobody got to say about you period because they're not paying your bills they're not trying to help you do better in life all they all they got fucking guys an opinion a negative one at that so what they got to say don't fucking matter okay i said it then i said now i said it to the day i die i'm gonna stand on it okay people and their opinions of you do not fucking matter because you can't cash their shit at the bank okay and that's on period i'm gonna stand on that just be you remain you i got it tatted on me it's in chinese but it's still tatted on me and that's all it is too okay you got one life to live you can spend it over thinking if you want to or you can spend it getting stuff done and progressing and allowing yourself to get to your next level that you desire to be at people don't really talk about on youtube youtube is very much saturated with one type of content and that's mainly like beauty fashion of course those are all separate but you get what i'm saying the beauty the fashion the couples lifestyle and stuff you don't really get anyone talking about the back end you don't get no one talking about mental or like past troubles or tendencies or how to be this way how to be that way and stuff so i can most definitely be that person for you all to a certain extent comment down below tell me your experience tell me how you got out of it okay i think one of the main things that helps me even with me being a creative or just going through my regular emotions in general is the fact that i'm alone and i love being alone so me being alone is amazing to me and it caters to my soul me being alone so i'm able to isolate myself like i want i have my own apartment i have my own car i can get up and go when i want to i can go see my family when i feel like it and whenever i'm tired of them i can go home when i feel like it i buy myself stuff every now and then i eat out i lately i'm eating out too much like the last week and a half but other than that i don't i don't really eat out um i've been working out you know trying to change this body okay hot girl summer around the comer I said comer <laughs> hot girl summer right around the corner you know what i'm saying so i've been working out i've always like late like i've been on this lifestyle change it's not like it's a change it's just something i did um it's not like something i had to instill in myself like oh my gosh you have to do this is just something that generally just naturally happened for me and so like i've been drinking more water than i did i mean i'm no stranger to drinking water but i most definitely don't get in the right amounts you're supposed to get for a day they say you're supposed to get a gallon of water a day it's so hard to get a gallon of water a day sometimes really getting the one liter bottles will help four of these is a gallon okay so i've been being more aware of my water intake what foods i'm putting into my body i eat pretty clean i detox regularly of course i backtrack sometimes but it's okay it's life not everything is gonna happen perfectly okay it's a process but um i do things that just cater to what i want to do in my soul and so for the ones who aren't able to do some of these things that i'm listing that will help you try to start small like i write in my notebooks i don't write in my notebook per se like my thoughts i just have a manifestation journal and i'm manifesting stuff working out eating cleaner um being able to have that time for yourself even if you're a people person you don't like being by yourself allow yourself to have time by yourself at least every now and then because there's nothing like being able to recharge and just soak in with no extra energies around you okay it's nothing like that it's top tier um i allow myself self-care so washing like washing really good shaving deep cleansing like the face face mask um i get my nails and my toes done i reward myself with my nails done every month i get my nails done once a month 
um because we don't waste money over here okay and i spend a good amount on my nails so i get them done every three weeks to four weeks so literally once a month is when my nails get done and i got them done like a week ago this is how they look one of the strawberries fell off right here but this is my nails and this one i just knocked the charm off the other day i hit it on the rack at the grocery store and then a few of the jewels fall off here but they're still overall cute i'm gonna just file this part down because i think she applied it with like acrylic so i'm gonna just file that part down and then put some clear polish over it for the most part they all still look good i get my nails and my toes done so if that makes you happy do that i take myself out every now and then i go on drives around the city and some like none of this stuff is planned like except my nails and my toes but i'm very sudden whenever i decide okay it's time for you to get your nails and toes done again but literally like i'll just wake up that day and like i'll be like oh i feel like going on a ride or i'm going to the store and i'll go to the store and they say you know i done drove around the city and now i'm coming back home so there's so many things you can do to take your mind off certain things Write in your notebook, watch YouTube, watch your favorite channel or show. I love YouTube. That's all I really watch. Lately, I've been watching SWAT though on Hulu. I love it. Um, I bought a word search book. I mean, like that right there just brought me back to my childhood a little bit. And no, I haven't even been writing in it really. Like I only did it once and that was last week and I've had it for like two months. But that's besides the point. Okay, there's so many things we can do out here to relax our mind. I like playing Sudoku. A lot of people, whenever I tell them that, like they they call me weird or they try to pick on me. Not necessarily in a bad way, but like I can like they just don't want to crack their jokes and shit. But I play it for fun, and then sometimes I just really be on overdrive. And like I said, it's a part of my anxiety. It's a part of my personality in general, and it's a I think it might be a part of me being a Capricorn. But my overthinking is crazy. So sometimes I'm like, okay, girl, play some play Sudoku because that will get your mind off of this. Like if you like to cook or bake, cook or bake. Just understand that not everything in this world is in your control. Okay, be able to agree and disagree. Be able to accept some things for how it is. Okay. You don't got to accept that nigga for how he act and you don't got to deal with him because you accept him. No, don't accept him, okay? Know what and what not to accept, okay? We got to accept certain things in life for what the fuck they is. Like, we got to accept the fact that we had Trump for four years, but guess what? We got that motherfucker out, okay? That was something we had to accept. There was only so much we could do. But as for that nigga, that no good dog ass nigga, you don't got to accept the bullshit that he putting you through leave his ass in the dust okay and that was just some <laughs> quick little example i just came up with off the dome but that applies to any, everything like there's start, certain things in life that we have no control over whatsoever we can only do so much and even if we had an ounce of control over it because yeah we voted and some people voted for him some people voted for other hillary first like we had some ounce of control but the the other side got the upper hand and stuff so that's how he ended up in there but that just goes to say, even if we were presenting a small ounce of control, at the end of the day, accept what is, accept things for what it is and what it isn't, okay? We can only do so much. And look, we made it out, okay? We got Biden now. And we're not even finna get into politics and all that extra stuff or anything. That was just an example, okay? We had to deal with him and his fucking shenanigans for four years, but we got that motherfucker out. He ain't serving another four years. So, apply that lesson to life okay if you all have any video suggestions feel free to comment them down below hopefully this video resonated with your soul um like i said i'm a very private person so me speaking about i didn't go into i didn't speak on anything that i felt like i didn't want to share keep, keep saying i'm gonna end this video out but i'm in it out for real now i love y'all be great trap navy we lit if you ain't trap navy it's really disappointed me and my homegirls and my homeboys. It's definitely like, comment, and subscribe, okay? Run this video up because I poured my heart into this. And I put myself through a little something, something trying to get that thing out. So y'all better show me some love. Okay, and that's all it is to it. So this is. And so that's what I'm closing this video off on. On a positive note, I hope I touch somebody's soul. I hope I got someone unstuck. Okay. Can I just catch you having fun? No. <laughs>